Hello everyone, welcome to Tomorrow. My name is Michael Clark, also known as Space Mike, and I'm about to bring you the first launch minute of 2019. Are you ready? Let's go. First up, for the first launch of 2019, we have a Long March 3B rocket that launched on Thursday, January 10th at 1711 Coordinated Universal Time from launch area number two at the Zhicheng Satellite Launch Center in China. Its payload was the ChinaSat 2D satellite, a commercial communications satellite owned by a company called China Satellite Communications. And this satellite was heading for a geosynchronous orbit, thus the need for the Long March 3B rocket. The first two stages in the core and the four liquid strap-on boosters are all fueled by the same type of toxic hypergolic fuel. However, the third stage of this rocket is fueled by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, making it a cryogenic upper stage. And that's important so that they could place the payload into a geosynchronous transfer orbit, and then the fuel on board the spacecraft and the engine on board the spacecraft would be able to place it over the coming weeks into a circular geosynchronous orbit. But moving right along, for the next launch of 2019, we had a Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket which actually launched just earlier today, on Friday, January 11th at 1531 Coordinated Universal Time from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. And oh boy, this mission, I, I guess, was kind of historic because it had the last batch of the Iridium Next communications satellites. These were satellites number 66 through 75, and all of them were placed into orbit successfully. All 75 of these satellites are in a low Earth orbit and are providing commercial communication services. However, SpaceX's booster for the Falcon 9 made a successful landing at the Pacific drone ship, and it's just incredible. We unfortunately didn't get to see the landing all the way down due to radio cutouts, but that's okay. The first stage was landed successfully, and more importantly, the payloads were placed into orbit successfully for the first two successful missions of 2019. Oh man, and we're getting this year off to a great start. China surprised us with their first launch, and I don't kind of feel good about the fact that we're starting off this year with a tie. One launch for China and one launch for the United States for a grand total of two so far. Before I go, I do want to remind you guys to be sure to tune in to our live show tomorrow, Saturday, January 12th at 1800 Coordinated Universal Time, where we will have the one and only Peter Beck, the CEO of Rocket Lab, live in studio. We did have him on the show just a couple of months ago, but since then, Rocket Lab has launched two of their Electron rockets and have a couple of other updates to talk about as well, so you don't want to miss this show. And if you have questions for Peter Beck about Rocket Lab or anything else, you can submit them ahead of time at our community forum, community.tmro.tv, right here in the YouTube chat, or you can tag us on Twitter as well, at TMRO. I hope you enjoyed the first launch minute of 2019. We're going to have many more of these to come. You should be able to expect them every Friday, as long as there were rocket launches each week. In any case, though, keep on moving onwards and upwards, and don't forget, Ad Astra to the stars.